Hey guys, welcome back to the 11th edition of the Oboga Records Radio Show. This is your host, Martin Weiss, and today I will be presenting a show pretty much dedicated to the Rainbow Serpent Festival, where we have been able to take some cool interviews and got a bit of new information on some uh, of the Oboga artists who performed there. Um, apart from that, I would like to say thank you very much for everybody who hosted my tour in Australia. It was absolutely an am amazing experience, amazing to come and play at uh, the One Mob Collective uh, Festival for New Year's. That was mind-blowing and uh, followed up by a couple of dupes and ending up at Rainbow. That was just completely mind-blown and thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to be back in Australia as soon as possible. I think a new tour is being announced pretty soon. Um, yeah, for me, one of the absolute top highlights was was Rainbow Serpent. Um, it was such a pleasure to be a part of it and to experience um, the mood, the vibe going on down there. It was, it's definitely a festival uh, among the top three, which I would recommend any one of you guys to go to, should you have the opportunity to. Um, it was such a rich festival music wise, and I have a lot of like uh, new favorite artists from just going to this one festival. Um, all aspects of the festival was just really well put together, really well organized. There's so many different things to see and do and experience and, and yeah, um, fantastic stuff by Ace Ventura, who performed an amazing DJ set and um, literally lifted the, the crowd off their feet at the main stage on the Saturday. Um, and yeah, this is what happened when we caught up with Yoni on the Sunday. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, good morning. Good. Good morning. And welcome. Well, top of the morning to you, laddies. <laughs> <laughs> top of the morning. And uh, well, here in the camper studio at Rainbow Serpent, we have a very special guest and uh, someone who we've been looking forward to grab an interview, interview with. It's none other than Ace Mantura. How's it going with you? Pretty well, guys. Pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. When did you arrive? And uh, I arrived uh, Saturday morning. Yeah. Took a few hours nap uh, European time, so I won't yeah. get the jet lag. Although it's impossible not to get it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and then I played last night from uh, 1.30 till uh, 3.30 after yeah. some dudes, uh, Martin Weiss and uh, Michael <laughs> Bunnell. Which was an amazing set. It was, yeah. Congrats. Thank you, yeah. Thank you really, very much. Uh, what a, what a bomb. Yeah, you guys went after Opie, who was just a band which I really like, and uh, the live band, and uh, it was a really nice transition into like your techno -ish style. Yeah. And then after that, for me to take over, it was really, really nice flow, actually. It went off. It as went soon off. as you started, it went right off the yeah. scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. That was good, yeah. Mm. So, um... Joni, you actually... Uh, you were actually partying tonight, right? I bit. did, yeah, yeah. I yeah. did. Because you actually had a, a few hours uh, left for yourself. Yeah, I danced my ass off. Yeah. And <laughs> I had another set in the morning, so instead of going to just trash myself in the caravan, so I just spent the time and danced with you. Yeah. And with Thomas Atmos and yeah, James Monroe. Yeah. Had a good time. We danced with Dixter and uh, Tata Altruism. It was pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. And actually, if we can say normally, when you're on tour, mm -hmm. you're not. You're trying to to stick to the to to the bedtime hours and uh, I try. You know, when you when you when you travel every weekend and you have so many so little hours of sleep. So yeah, but but when you're in a festival, the rules change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially in the summer in Europe, but here also it's like my first Rainbow Serpent actually. Played many times in Australia in other festivals, but weirdly this is my first Rainbow. And uh, needless to say, you were here, so you know how it was. But I was blown away. It was mm. like amazing. Yeah. The light show from the festival itself and the sound together with the special lights and hologram show from Iboga and FM Booking. This was like wow, yeah. <laughs> different level for sure. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of comments during the the morning that it's just been a next level production. So that's really good. It was totally, literally next level. It was never seen in any trans party before yeah it was uh, you know technology exclusive to 
to America, to Eric Price, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And this is the first time that, uh, that they use it in a trance party, so really nice for Iboga for NFM Booking for pulling this off. That's yeah. off, guys. Definitely something people can look forward to in Europe and uh, yeah. else Iboga is touring. But speaking about um, parties, mm -hmm. where did you come from uh, before Rainbow? Where have you been uh, this uh, winter slash summer? <laughs> <laughs> well, last weekend was in France, a big party in France, and uh, you know, every weekend somewhere else. This this this, week, this year starts really busy actually. After a few European gigs in the next few weeks, I got India, Mexico, uh, New York, San Francisco, Cape Town, then Australia again. Then wow. Brazil, all in a row, like really crazy transatlantic trips. It's gonna be a hectic few months, but uh, can't complain. I mean, you know, I still like this lifestyle. I managed to still enjoy it, you know, and uh, the flights and everything with with all this shit. I still love doing what I love doing what I do. So, so yeah, good. You can, we can so we good. can see that on that when we're on the floor looking up at you. You definitely nice. know, like what you're doing. So yeah. <laughs> That's did you, good. Did you um, pull a serpent out of the hat this uh, this morning in your set? Was there something in your set that you really like? Uh, you designed specially for Rainbow Serpent. Um, I, I made designed the set a bit differently. Uh, in the middle of the set, I went to a rather more kind of minimal minimal vibe compared to my usual sets. Mm -hmm. I played, for example, a new track for, I have with Ritmo from his new album, which is like completely minimal compared to my, my other stuff. Wow. And I yeah. thought this was the place to, to test it. This was the first time I played it and it was amazing. It went yeah. off really well. So in the middle of the set, I went to kind of a sl slower and more atmospheric tracks before blasting again at the end. So this I usually don't do in my regular sets. Uh, I usually put the full power all the way. But uh, this was specifically designed for Rainbow and then it paid off. Yeah, it was really good. So you had time to test. Yeah, it was yeah. a good test. Yeah. So and saying so saying that you you made you set a little bit differently is that because you have the assumption that the Australian trancers they are listening to a different kind of style or more like susceptible or open for? I think the latter. They are they are really more sustainable for all yeah. kinds of trance and uh, Australians are known for their for the vibe on the dance floor and for their openness. Yeah. They are open for everything basically. If it's good, if yeah. it's crap, they will just leave the dance floor. <laughs> But if it's built right, you can go down, down BPM, up at BPM, and uh, change your style. And they're they're a really special crowd in the the Psytrance global scene. Yeah. 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 Okay. For sure. Awesome. I think we had the definition of a doof party this night, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Really it went off. <laughs> but oh, yeah. Martin, am I right? If you played a remix of to come with us, yeah, of yes. this, yeah. exactly. In your yeah, set, yeah. yeah. And it was like. Like the third last track in the set. Yeah, up. we were on the dance floor, man. We were yeah. dancing. Yeah, there. we were. Yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah, awesome. it was, it was <laughs> just amazing. It was just amazing to to play the set actually because we've been working so hard on it and. Um, we haven't really been sharing so much of it yet. I mean, the point now is that we're going to release an album. So beforehand, we're going to do some promo sets and show what we're about. But to be able to test it in a crowd and like after the Opio band, the crowd you got is, a good, good, <laughs> good place to test your shit, novel. yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was proper. Mm. So, yeah, really excited and good to do the to, to do the remix. Maybe yeah. we're going to ask for some more. Fun. All right, <laughs> yeah, I'm up for that. Man. <laughs> Sweet. Nice that's good. That's good. <laughs> so, what about you? What other plans do you have in the near future of like Iboga releases or anything you're working on in, in particular? Or I got a few Iboga releases coming. I have uh, one track for the one solo track for a change uh, for the Iboga 20 Years compilation. Yes, almost yeah. done. Uh, there's a Centura track coming for Iboga soon, calling called One One. Um, what else? Yeah, probably there are going to be a few releases over the year on Iboga, but right now, actually, the last few months have been focused on a new project. Oh, yeah. Please. It's actually a side trends project. Oh. Unlike my progressive stuff, it's called Alpha Portal. Alpha Portal. Yes, Alpha Portal. yes. Okay. It's with no, no other than Asterix. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's our take on the Psy scene right now. Uh, the last the last summer we we had the chance to to listen to a few sets, mainly from Lucas and Tristan, and it's static which uh, blew us away. 
and suddenly we got the vibe to 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 go back to what we did in wow. the beginning because both of us coming from a yeah. more faster background yeah this is why i love we do this radio because yeah. we just announce something huge yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty huge we we're still rather quiet about it we still didn't start promoting it but we have quite a few tracks going already and we're gonna debut the first live set in ozora Oh, wow. this summer. Okay. So it's a good, good place so to be there. Be yeah, in for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a good afternoon of uh, of uh, Asterix, of a portal, and Ace Ventura. Then uh, it's gonna be interesting. So this is what I've been doing uh, mainly in the last few months. But uh, yeah, more progressive is coming as well. And uh, I actually feel really good about broadening my spectrum and not focusing, you know, on one style and uh, the whole definition thing. Was I got a bit a bit limited by that personally and I thought you know it's time to just do whatever whatever you want and it feels really good to suddenly work in totally different BPM ranges yeah yeah so it was I think it was the right choice and, and you and Avi know each other, each other for oh yeah 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 we both go way back yeah, we did a few progressive tracks together massive and he, tracks yeah he remixed yeah. The, the light yeah it was released on Iboga with a really massive remix and uh, we did a track for, for my album and uh, we did a track for his album which is released actually next month and let okay. me tell you it's an amazing album yeah it's his album. i heard it i heard some of it at the, the burning mountain festival mm. this summer that was just mind-blowing oh it's mind-blowing yeah. it's called heart and it, i'm really, really really in love with this album yeah so it's a pleasure for me to work with him and uh it's going to be a very interesting project for cool. sure cool yeah. looking really we're really looking forward to hear that stuff that's absolutely sure. nice one and I would actually like to announce another release. It's a remix by uh, Irot, the chill out, chill out artist Tony Boga, uh, who did a remix of uh, one of your tracks. But uh, more about that later. In a later show. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I really love that remix. Actually, it's, it's yeah. soothing, relaxing, and a really nice interpretation on the original. So, he did kudos a to Irot. Very yeah. good job. Good job. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, from a partly clouded uh, Rainbow Serpent Festival, I don't know, it's uh, 25 degrees outside and... Yeah. Uh, it's good party weather, Yeah, let's put it that way. Mm. Yeah. Go, we're gonna go hug some koalas now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Guys, I just like to say that I really like your show. I've been listening from the first program. Yeah? Yeah, Thank you guys you have good, very good chemistry and it's finally... I don't think there's any trans podcast at all. So finally somebody... Yeah. took this job and you're doing a really good job so <laughs> thank, thank you. you very much thanks yeah, a lot. It, it means a lot to us because uh, yeah yeah we just it just we, uh, we just, <laughs> yeah, it just happened no we, we love it me and my wife we listen to it yeah. you know at home oh. like in the background and it's really good so nice cool. one good job guys yeah, we just good want job. to get the information out there thanks a lot thank you okay nice well uh, thanks for being here and uh, we're looking forward to updates and if we catch you around in the world which we probably will we'll, we will. we'll be keen on some more updates yeah so, awesome yeah. cool all right and well, thanks, thanks for the set again and the dance nice Ooh. one yeah <laughs> cheers right. guys my okay. pleasure cheers bye-bye bye, -bye. Yeah. bye. Fantastic to be able to get a hold of Ace Ventura and a really cozy chat with him. Um, sticking to Ace Ventura here, the next track I'm going to play is a new remix by Bliss to Stomping Ground. Be sure to check it out. It is an absolute top banger track.
Absolutely amazing and powerful track by Bliss, uh, or the remix by Bliss to Ace Ventura's Stomping Ground. Um, now we're going to take the, the BPM down a bit and we're going to get into another Iboga artist who did a fantastic performance on the market stage, which I was uh, had the pleasure of seeing the whole thing. Uh, it was from uh, Nick Tripswitch. And um, as a matter of fact, we also managed to grab a little interview with him regarding his new upcoming album on Iberga Records. Let's get into it and check out how the interview went. Cheers. Hello and welcome back to the Iboga radio show. This is uh, four <laughs> days later and, uh, and less voice. Yeah, um, a lot, a lot uh, of voice. Kind of. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we're still, we're still, uh, we're still alive. Still kicking it. Yeah, absolutely. It's so, and now in the trailer we have Nick Tripswitch. Nice to uh, to interview you. Hey guys, finally. Hi. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's long overdue. Yeah. And so, thanks for a very good festival. Yeah, yeah. It's well, been good you fun running around. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you. And also, what a fantastic set he played. Thank you, man. That Thank was a you. bit of an experience, yeah. Yeah, it did. It, it, everything worked, I think. It was a synchronicity. It was summing up, I, I wasn't here, but you played Friday, Friday night? Friday on the market stage, huh? yeah. yeah, sunset. Um, Mind blowing. Slot, which, which is a very nice stage. <laughs> <laughs> like the market stage. Yeah. What a carnival. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Start to finish. It's where the party's at, really, for the whole festival. And then yeah. there's other things that go on, you know. But, but yeah. yeah, it's special down there. It's a really good vibe. And, <clears throat> Yeah, the set was the set was incredible. I mean, you know, wow. Mm. Couldn't, still, have, couldn't have gone better. It, it couldn't. really couldn't. No. And you had a few new tracks in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. a few remixes I've been doing. Um, I've done one for a guy called Matt Derry, who's uh, on the old Gatecrasher DJs, actually. And, cool. Yeah. Um, so there was one of those in there. Threw in my Nanoplex remix and uh, yeah, 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 from the recent release. Uh, and otherwise, you had a lot of the the album tracks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a great place to sort of test it all out. Um, yeah. And I've got to say, I think it, I think it worked. Oh, it, it did. They welcomed it. Uh, it did indeed. Oh, yeah. It did indeed. It's been resonating around the festival. So I hear talking about it since. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I knew it would work well on that stage. It, yeah. It's that kind of vibe and you know that sort of tempo. I think people like to sort of they like a a comfortable groove. Mm. Um, at that time of night. Yeah. So for for some of the listeners listeners out there, what about uh, the the old trips? I am sweating so like, much right now. I need some water. <laughs> it's too hot. It's thermal. 
<laughs> yeah, so what's what's going to happen? I mean, are you still going to be doing some down tempo stuff? Yeah, or, I think or? so. I've got sort of half an album of, of chill out. Oh, really? Done now, yeah. Um, it's, you know, I've been so focused on the progressive stuff and I've really enjoyed producing yeah. that recently. So it kind of took a backseat for a while, but I've, um, yeah, like I said, I've got about half an album together now. I've been doing, um, I just did a remix for Seb Taylor for Kai Project. Um, okay, yeah. As well, which is really sort of classic old school. Trips with its chill. Yes. Um, but it was nice because I played a, a sort of a. Because the stuff on the market stage was all, you know, the, the brand new kind of sound. And um, yeah. it was nice to then have the chance to play like a classic Trips with set on the chill. On yeah, Sunday you, you played some older tracks as well. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty much. Um, yeah, it was funny actually. I was digging out tracks that I haven't played for ten years, probably. Um, okay. Yeah. But re yeah, and rediscovering them myself because I, mm. I, you know, I haven't listened to them myself. But, yeah, um, that's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really worked actually, and I had again yeah, a lot of compliments about that so, yeah. as well. Um, so. Which place, which track did you play? Was it Deer Park? And uh, yeah, I think <clears> I played. <throat> I played Silver from the very Silver. first oh. um, from from Man of Medicine mm. from. Uh, no, actually, from uh, yeah, Butterfly Dawn, wasn't it? Um, I think that was the oldest. Um, but yeah, I played a load of the Circuit Breaker stuff, and um, yeah, that went down really well. Awesome. Which uh, good uh, concerts have you been to? Um, what have you seen? Okay, so highlights for me, I guess, let's see, Jossie Telch last yeah. night was <laughs> amazing. Awesome. That, that's amazing. Amazing. Mexican. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're getting. Uh, <laughs> really I'm getting run for my money now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that um, was, yeah he was he was amazing. And James after him as well was James just, he absolutely slammed it. Yeah. Slammed up. Um, B. Svensson, I really enjoyed that set. Um, also a very nice set, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Uh, and also market stage. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, I mean, the whole of Saturday night was on the main stage was, was just epic. That was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have you been so. seeing other stuff in the festival, like besides music? Um, not so much actually. There's been so much good music. It's <laughs> kind of been one to the other to the other. But um, no, I mean the well, Australian food culture is great, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we, you know, I don't think I've ever been to a festival where the food is quite this good or very and diverse. Yeah. 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 I think everything here, like the production. Uh, the facilities, the infrastructure, everything is just working mm -hmm. very, very good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And the yeah, everybody's uh, laid back and, and yeah. warm and welcoming and, and helpful, and it's just a pleasure to be around, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah, especially good, good working festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And what's the status with the with the album now? How's, how's so we're we're pretty much ready to roll. We're um, I think we're looking at, looking at an April release now. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, everything's <coughs> everything's sorted. I think the vinyl's off to press now, which is super exciting. Oh, that's mm -hmm. exciting! Can't wait. <laughs> that's yeah. um, that's a dream come true for me. I never thought I'd uh, I thought I'd miss that boat to to get my own album release on vinyl. But yeah, it's coming back. That's going on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's all it's all in production. Basically, everything's in production. And, okay. Um, and uh, and and after the album, I'm guessing there's going to be some remixes, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, I've got loads, and just from being here, I've got about sort of half a dozen more collaborations yeah. like ah set to go kind of when we get back so can you can you name drop some oh, of them yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure well there's Jossie there's um oh no way yeah, really yeah. Yeah. wow okay uh James gonna do work on something with James um wow B Svensson yeah. obviously yourself yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> um, up, I'm up. thank you City as well who I saw they were Amazing, actually. That Oakland was yesterday night. The, yeah, um, after the whole festival had gone, there's this was little. What that area? Suddenly, I, I was. <laughs> yeah, it's I this. I feel like I woke up <laughs> in a, on another festival. Suddenly. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd never have found it if I hadn't been walked there. But it was uh, sort of over in one of the campsites on the far side of the yeah. site. There's a uh, this yeah. whole little village of uh, mm. sort of little sound systems and cafes and stuff. And uh, it was there as a place called Beanbag Babylon. Exactly. And there, that's yeah. where we were. Yeah, he was we there. Were sitting in, in we were sitting in the. Uh, we, we've been okay. at the same cool. dead place, just cool. like meters from each yeah, other yeah. without knowing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's easily done, isn't it? That Especially was really good. Killer really set, good set. Man. Killer yeah. set, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I've known those guys for a few years now, but um, uh -huh. they played a lot of new stuff that I haven't uh, yeah. heard before. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be staying with them in Melbourne so at the end of the week, <laughs> and I'll be uh, hitting remember, them with a hard. Remember drive. a couple of USB sticks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Right. Well, that's super exciting. That's that's really uh, yeah. Good news about the album, and and really excited to hear some new previews and snippets from upcoming releases. Yeah, man. Such. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess we'll be sure to be playing some of them in there. Yes. Good, good. The radio show. Yeah. Cool. We already did. Yeah, we yeah, will. Yeah. We we'll continue to. Yeah. So cool. So what now? Back to the dust, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when are you leaving the festival? Uh, in a couple of hours. Oh I yeah, you were going horse riding, you told me. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go and stay on a horse farm with a with a friend. Oh. Gonna That's gonna ride some horses such and a train some horses. <laughs> Sweet. Oh boy. Giddy up. Yeah, yeah. It's hot down there, I remember yeah. from last time. It's yeah. hot and dusty. Yeah. Loads of flies. It's the Aussie way. Sounds perfect. Yeah. <laughs> if, if that's your kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. We will go back to Melbourne. Yeah. And then we will try and see if we can find Thomas Atmos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which just disappeared from us, but uh, hopefully we will make it. Yeah. And um, Nick. Thanks Alex. for a fantastic festival and great connection here. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. Seems like 2016 is going to be a good year. Right? Well, I feel, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel Don't I feel bring the vinyls, yeah. vinyls down here with all the dust and everything. <laughs> not no, yeah, good not point. Yet. Yeah, I did see some, the, the guy before me on the chill out was, was playing the vinyl. Yeah, yeah. it was struggling. Like, you're a brave man. Yeah, yeah. yeah very brave man. <laughs> Did people really do that back then when they were playing more vinyl? Yeah. Like, did they really yeah. play yeah. all yeah. those vinyls to yeah. the Yeah, I remember, a, I remember a few a few of the early festivals yeah. where I was still carting them. <clears throat> oh yeah? You know, several, plenty of kilograms on my back, trying, yeah. hoping they don't warp and okay. scratch the hell. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a lot easier now, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you're doing it live, and then you, you need a bit of the... Bit of equipment. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's true. Cool. That's nice, huh? Yeah, I'm I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well we will try to grab you uh, uh, grab a Skype with you and, and, and yeah. when, upon the release date. Uh, yeah, cool. Well I'll be coming to Copenhagen anyway in, in April. That's which April. I think is yeah. gonna coincide pretty well with the Epic release. So yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Where's something. your next kick? Next gig uh, is in London actually. It's um it's something called Desert Heart, and it's a it's a benefit for Save the Rhino. Um, okay. So I'm kind of playing the main main slot actually. It's going to be a, it's quite a big set house house party. They've been doing it for years and years. Um, so yeah, I've got that coming up, and then it's Copenhagen in April. Cool. Uh, there was talk of something in Goa, but I'm not sure that's happening. Um, uh, yeah, so a few things before the summer, which is nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Good. Wicked. Okay. Well, thanks for being here. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good little chat with Nick Tripswich, who will have his album released sometime in uh, the summer. Um, as again said, it's being uh, uh, pressed on vinyls, which is something which is a fantastic uh, thing for both Nick, I guess, and also for us listeners who are keen to get our hands back on uh, some physical releases. Um yeah, sticking to the, the theme of albums, um, the next artists that we will be listening to are some artists that we have happened to have an interview with a while back. And um, they're coming out with an album called Momentum, none other than the project Sideform. I just had the, the pleasure of playing together with the guys at Soul Vision in Brazil. and. Yeah, they definitely delivered an absolutely amazing, pounding, uh, psychedelic uh, journey of uh, a set where they presented this new album. And um, so therefore we sort of got in contact with them and managed to get a promo set of this new album. So without further ado, here is Sideform with Momentum. Enjoy, guys.
perpetual mutation would ensure that the attacking computer would never locate recognizable word patterns and thus never know when it had found the proper key. The concept was somewhat like the idea of colonizing Mars, fathomable on an intellectual level, but at present, well beyond human ability. This code is the product of a brand new encryption algorithm. One we've never seen before. Digital Fortress. 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 Fortress.
psychochemicals which expand consciousness, accelerate the mind, open up uh, the wisdom of the side. This is intelligent plan inside your brain. It's life -like. It's wonder. It's revelation. 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 It's a new form of energy.
then a series of dramatic changes takes place, marking the beginning of the end.
was solid and reassuring. This is all a big ball turning in the middle of the sky once a day with millions of people glued to it, talking different languages, wearing funny clothes, all stuck to the same ball. But if something as big as the Earth turned once a day, it had to be moving at an unbelievable speed. She thought she could now actually feel the Earth turn, not just imagine it.
Absolutely amazing set by the side from guys um, and, and an absolutely great album. Um, be sure to get your hands on a copy of the Sideform album Momentum, which you just listened to in the uh, promo mix format. Um, it went straight to number one on the top 10 album releases on Beatport in the side charts, and it's uh, a lot of the tracks are laying really strong in the top 100. Um, other releases to look out for right now is a brand new Set 24, uh, a compilation of um, previously released tracks on Avogo Records, including a bunch of bombs by Faxa, Rick Tombansi, Marcus Henriksen, um, Nanoplex, One Man Orchestra, Human Element, uh, Emok, uh, Yours Truly, and Morden Granau, Antics, Biswinson, Astro Pilot, and White Bear. On the 22nd of February, we have some Vini Vici remixes by Time Lock and also by Future Frequency remixes to Vini Vici and anything and everything. 
We also have a, a new EP by Easy Riders, which is Ace Ventura and Rocky who are combined to make the Easy Riders project. The track is called Yellow Brick Road. We also have a Mr. What remix to uh, Ritmo Dream and Reality coming out on the 1st of March, which is also a very, very strong track. And then um, another recommendation would be to check out on the 14th of March the MVMB and Mordengano Thoughts, which is also coming on our album, which will be released on the 21st of March, uh, called The Sleeper Must Awaken. More infos about this in the next show, where I will be talking about it together with Michael Bennell. And um, yeah, going on to the next episode, um, we would like to do a new segment to the radio show where we will be uh, answering questions um, and yeah, hopefully getting you guys more active in our radio show. So please um, do us a favor and ask whatever kind of question you want regarding um, our project or regarding um, any production uh, tricks or anything you want. We'll try to answer you guys as good as possible. This concludes radio show number 11. Catch you guys in the next edition. Take care, share the love, and thanks for all the support with the radio show. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>